Um, I'm Martin, and I'm from the Bourgeoisie class, and I'm 21 years old, and I'm a doctor. And that's what takes up most of my time. Before the revolution, the politics didn't really affect me, so I didn't really care much about the same with society, kind of. Since I'm rich and highly educated, nobody really bothered me. So the only thing I didn't like was that I had no influence in the government. But then I didn't really participate in any of the start of the revolution activities because um, I didn't really do anything because I was a doctor, so all I did was just heal, um, help treat the people who got hurt. Then during the revolution, since I was a doctor, I didn't have to fight at all. As long as I kept on treating people to the best of my ability, then um, people will stay out of my way. I was part of the accusations and trials too. It didn't really affect me, but it made me think that I was lucky. I wasn't helping out any of the like traitor people, and because then I could have gone arrested and sent to the guillotine. My name is Charles Hamar. I am 20 years old. Before the revolution, I was one of the sans culottes in the third estate. I was a bricklayer and worked long hours to provide for my mom and my sister. If I didn't fulfill my boss's needs, he would fire me and my family would go hungry. I wasn't happy with the way things were going and I wanted a better environment for my mom and sister to live in as well as a better one for me to live in. My mother's friend, a doctor who was very well informed, started getting information that America had had a revolution and that some people in France were starting to revolt as well. We heard that some people called John Locke and John Jacques Rousseau were writing things having to do with his ideas as well. Our family stayed back at first, but after the 1788 winter, we almost starved and I knew I needed to help change things somehow for my mom and sister. In 1789, some of my people got the chance. I didn't go, but some citizens from the third estate went to Paris for a meeting. My people wanted more voting power, but the king didn't allow it. That prompted the want to do something for me, as well as the Parisians breaking into the Bastille prison. I was very scared because there were rumors that the king was going to punish us for this. I wasn't part of the National Assembly's actions and protesting much because I was trying to keep my family alive. But after King Louis was executed and France became a republic, things were a lot easier. We moved to America in 1793, shortly after the bad part was over. The revolution made me realize that everything can change quickly and it made me strong. I am King Louis the 14th of France. I am 39 years old and I spend my days walking through the gardens, going on boating trips, enjoying performances of tragedies and comedies, ballets and concerts, and going to meetings. I am the, of the royal class and I have no faction. My thoughts on the society before this revolution were that, other than the debt problem, Things were going okay. The only way I participated in the starting events of the revolution was by trying to protect myself from the madness and acting only when required by the nobles. My experience during the revolution was not very good, as I was first attacked for trying to protect myself and trying to run away only to be brought back. After that, things only went more downhill. The effect the revolution had on me was that it got me thrown out of power, sent to prison, and then finally executed. My name is Bishop Pierre Rosette, and I am 56 years old. I am a part of the first class of the old order, and I do not belong to any faction. Before the revolution, I was a well-known bishop in my abbey, and I preached and did not pay taxes, since I was a part of the clergy. I did not participate in any revolutionary activities, because they limited my finances and my social status as well. During the revolution, I was promoted to a public job. No one could attend church, and then I was jailed during the Reign of Terror by the Mountain Faction. I am Maximilian Robespierre. I am 35 years old, and I lead the National Convention. I am the head of the Cult of the Supreme Being. I am part of the Mountain Faction, so you could say I am Montagnard. Um, 
I didn't really like the government and how it was, so I was very radical and I wanted a lot of changes to be done. Um, I didn't really participate in the start of the revolution activities, but I participated during the revolution activities. Um, I'm the one who said that we should use terror to defend the republic from its many, many enemies. So I guess you could say I'm the one who got, it, got the guillotine started. Um, I thought I was going to be safe because I'm the one who suggests an easy way to get rid of enemies, but nope. So, well, I got killed during it. So I got killed after, like, during the revolution. So the National Convention soldiers surrounded me and some 100 of my supporters, and they took us into custody. Then I soon got became beheaded. Hello, my name is John Paul Murat. I'm in the Third Estate, and I'm one of the Sans Culottes. I'm highly in favor of the revolution. Before it, life was awful. I hated Louis XIV and his wife, Marie Antoinette. During the revolution, I wrote for a newspaper called The Friend of the People. It was a great newspaper, and it highlighted all the reasons the government was horrible and corrupt. During the revolution, I also gave traitors names to the executioners so they could execute people who were against the revolutions and the guillotines. The revolution affected me because after my death, people looked at me as a god because I was so popular for my violent views. My name is Napoleon. I am 51 years old, and I am, or I guess I was, the Emperor of France. Before that, I was a military leader. I am of a leader or royal class, and I did not belong to a faction. I did not have many strong opinions about the economy before the revolution. I did not participate in the starting activities of the revolution. I did not really participate during the revolution. I fought in the Battle of Waterloo. I um, did great. The revolution did allow me to become the emperor of France, as France needed a strong leader to guide them. I also promised to keep some key reforms from the revolution when becoming the emperor. I am Tsar Alexander I of Russia, and I am ruler of all of Russia. Every day I do about my normal czarly activities, but lately my time has been filled up by this Frenchman Napoleon. When this revolution started, I was horrified to discover that the French monarch was beheaded, so I did not participate during the revolution. It did not concern me until now, when Napoleon has come and attacked Moscow just weeks ago. The revolution not only burned Moscow and made me fearful for my life, but it also gave my citizens idea of revolution.